Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm here to argue today why my client, Serial, is in fact guilty of being soup. Let me start, Your Honor, by explaining why the current definition of soup is not broad enough, and by its own definition would not include other well-established soups. Wikipedia, for example, defines soup as a primarily liquid food, generally served warm or hot, but maybe cool or cold, that is made by combining ingredients of meat or vegetables with stock, milk, or water. Now, Your Honor, I think we can all agree that there's plenty of soups that don't use meat or vegetables as a base. For example, tomato is a fruit, tomato soup exists, and mushroom soup exists. Mushrooms are a fungus. If we have a look here, we'll also see that this definition establishes the precedent of cold soups, like gazpacho, for example. Soups can also be sweet, like this Scandinavian salt de soup I found. Now that we've established that soup does not need to have meat or vegetables as a base, can be cold, and can be sweet, let's get to the issue of combining. See, over the course of this trial, the state has tried to bamboozle you with their unclear and meandering definition of the word combine. And I have to admit, they've done a good job, Your Honor. After all, combine is a tricky word. Someone argued that the ingredients have to be blended or cooked together in some fashion in order for it to count as soup. But you will see that the Wikipedia definition specifies that hot soups boil solid ingredients in liquids in a pot until flavor is extracted. But Your Honor! Cereal is not hot soup. So that leaves blending, which begs the question, how blended does something have to be in order for it to be combined? If, for example, you are making a pea soup and it's not fully blended, it's still a little chunky, it still counts as a soup. Perhaps it's just bad soup, and I don't think anybody's arguing that bad soup does not count as soup. But where is the line if I take peas and a few ingredients and throw them together in a blender and blend it for one second? Does that count as soup? Maybe, but it should still count as soup, ladies and gentlemen, because it's the intent of the meal that matters, even if the meal was a net failure. And so me and my client Cereal believe that as long as there are two or more ingredients and they are put together in some fashion, whether it's blending, cooking, or just putting together in a bowl and stirring, as long as they take a new form by said combination, then it should count as a combination. Cereal does, in fact, require the combination of two separate ingredients although not in as involved a way as cooking or blending would, but still in a way that the two ingredients become something else by the act of combining them. And therefore, Your Honor, I believe a better, more all-encompassing definition of soup that I think we can all get behind is any food with a liquid base served in a bowl eaten with a spoon. And what do you know? Cereal and all other soups we mentioned today, regardless of their quality, fall under this definition. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, cereal is indeed a breakfast soup. I rest my case.